here before you, we have what may be one of the most badass photos maybe of all time, at least of my lifetime. It's Donald Trump standing up with blood strewn across his face, fist raised in defiance, shouting, fight, 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 after the failed assassination attempt. I mean, holy cow. That is the kind of man you want leading your country. My goodness. And of course, such a photo, obviously, I mean, without any shadow of a doubt, obviously, needs to go on the cover of Time magazine. It's an obvious choice. Why wouldn't you have one of the greatest photos ever taken on the cover of Time magazine? Attack on Trump, former president survives, shooting. With the nation on edge. Kudos to this guy for, for being skilled enough into being able to frame a, a photo with gunshots going off. He deserves the cover. Congratulations to him. Except this August 5th, 2024 cover is now this right here. August 5th, 2024. Time, what unites us? Why would they do that? The most powerful photo taken in a very long time and change it to, it's another Evan Vucci photo. So they still gave him the cover. They, they stripped him of his best work. But why would they do that? See, it makes, it makes no sense until we read this. Trump cover-up escalates as a photo editor at Popular Publication wants to ban iconic raise fist photo for making GOP nominee look too good. So are you telling me that one of the greatest photos of our lifetime on the cover of Time magazine has just been changed to something much more drab because it makes Trump look too good that a real set of a real set of facts and circumstances happened, and a journalist covered it openly and honestly. And it because that is too good, they're gonna cover it up. This is like Tank Man. You guys know Tank Man, the, the photo of of the dude in in in, in China standing in front of all of the tanks. That photo isn't allowed in China because it, it has, has an idea behind it. The establishment media, leftist media, is pulling the same thing that communist China has pulled. An editor at a major news outlet wants the press to stop using the iconic photo of the assassination attempt against Donald Trump because it represents free PR for his campaign. I bet if that bullet hit him square in the head and there was pink mist, they would still probably use that photo because it's not, it's not so good for his campaign. The unnamed editor told Axios that sharing the historic photo of the former president standing after he survived the attempt on his life is dangerous despite how good it is. Their outlet wasn't named either, but it is said to receive millions of regular readers. Now, it's possible, what, one of two things here. One, it's possible that there is, in fact, an unnamed editor at an unnamed outlet saying this stuff. Or two, it's possible that there is no unnamed editor at no unnamed outlet not saying this stuff, but these, collectively, the, the news is putting that out there as a way of saying it without saying it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that dog whistle for, for, for everyone to not use that photo because it makes Trump look good. I don't know if I've explained that well enough. Hopefully, you understand what I'm talking about. 
liberal-leaning Axios reported that multiple unnamed photographers told them they were worried the image taken by Pulitzer winner Evan, uh, Evan Vucci could turn into propaganda by the Trump campaign to further their agenda despite the photographer's intent of capturing a news event. They're like, oh no, a set of facts and circumstances happened upon Donald Trump that he will use to his advantage. Cover it up. You don't hate the media enough. You might think you do. You might hate them 10 out of 10. It's not enough. One photographer said the photo could become a propaganda machine and make Trump a martyr. He took a freaking bullet. He took a bullet. What else is he supposed to do? Trump alone thwarted an assassination attempt. The Secret Service didn't thwart it. Local police didn't thwart it. State police didn't thwart it. Superman didn't come down and save the day. There was no Avengers, no Iron Man, no Captain America. There was nobody. The only person that saved Donald Trump was Donald Trump. Everything was going according to plan. Everything. Everything was perfect. Everything was absolutely spot on from the eyes of the deep state, the assassins, the people that wanted Trump dead. Everything was going fine. Everyone knew that the bad guy with the gun was there three hours beforehand. Everyone knew it. It was going fine. Nobody stopped him. There was no police, no secret service. Trump still went on stage. Everything was going perfectly the way it was supposed to be. And then Trump moved his head three degrees. That's all he did. Boom. Warded. And that and then these guys have the audacity to say, well, it might be propaganda. He might use that. The greatest moment of his life as propaganda. Fuck these guys. Honestly, this is disgusting. This is awful. Two plus two equals five. 1984 bullshit. That's what this is. Fuck these guys. The photograph of a bloodied Donald Trump with his fists in the air and an American flag looming in the background is quickly emerging as the pivotal image of Saturday's shooting. It's supposed to. It really happened. Naturally. Organically. And that is why it's so good. Like, I don't know why we have to strip Evan Vucci of his hard work. Video of the assassination attempt at Pennsylvania rally filled television screens before it was even clear what had happened. Yet the work of the Associate Press, Evan Vucci, Gettys, and Anna Moneymaker. Is that really her name, Anna Moneymaker? Oh, heavens. And Doug Mills of the New York Times, whose picture caught apparent evidence of a bullet whizzing past Trump's head proved the enduring potency of still photography in a world driven by a flood of moving pictures. Yeah, so uh, Doug Mills' photo, the bullet, you can see the bullet that hit him is flying past his head. It's gone through his ear already, and it's still going. That's a very powerful image as well. Does that one need to be held back? Like, what images are we allowed to use of the Trump assassination attempt? Bucci's image, one of many he took on Saturday, could also have political implications from many directions, as indelible images often do in the days and years after seismic events. Without question, Evans' photo will become the definitive uh, photo from the attempt, assassination attempt. Like, these people suck. Leftist media, establishment media, they're, they're playing it down. They're, they're using language to make it seem like it was, oh, just a pea shooter or some, conspir some conspiracy or whatever in the, in the sense that Donald Trump was like, he staged it or he used a ketchup package to, and he smacked his ear or something. Like, it's ridiculous stuff. It captures a range of complex details and emotions in one still image. The defiantly raised fists, the blood, the agents clamoring to push Trump off the stage, and most importantly, the flag. That's what elevates the photo. The flag behind is, is the chef's kiss of the whole thing. It's that last little bit of something. Like, look at these. Look at these officers. And look how they're risking their lives. Like, you don't understand 
my friends watching this video. In this photo, they are goddamn near fucking dead being on that sloped roof. Look at them. Nearly dying on that sloped roof. Anyways, a lot of people on Twitter are talking about it. They're pointing out about the contrast of like, why would you do it? This one. And Wokeness says they actually got it right with this one. It's old news. Just did mag uh, Time Magazine has decided not to use the legendary photo of Trump after he was shot for the cover. The new one is terrible. What a dumb move. Trump cover-up escalates as photo editor at Popular Publication wants banned. Iconic race fist photo for making the GOP nominee look too good. I would not want it banned if it was exactly opposite. If Joe Biden survived to something and he got up like a badass, I would be like, wow, I'm not voting for you. But what a good photo. But the left is unhinged. They're broken. Anyways. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all. R remember, do like my all my videos wherever you're watching them. Like them, like them, like them. And uh, subscribe to me at Third Railify on YouTube, Rumble, and X. But most importantly, Rumble. I'm not long for this YouTube world. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.